I'm about to show you how to achieve the most popular style there is on social media right now, and that is the old money aesthetic. And most people think you have to have a whole bunch of different pieces, a blown out, most expensive closet, but I'm gonna show you how to do it with only 11 pieces of clothing. So you don't need to go to any other internet videos, any other YouTube videos, TikToks, or anything like that, because I'm gonna show you how to look good right here and there. You don't have to go anywhere else because your boy got you. So how this video is gonna go is that first I'm gonna tell you what old money aesthetic style is. Then after I explain to you what it is, I'm gonna tell you how do you achieve it, and then I'm gonna give you the only 11 pieces of clothing that you need in order to achieve the old money style. So first, where did the old money style come from? What everyone is gonna tell you and what honestly is the truth is that old money is a style of dressing in classic clothing that never goes out of style. So what this means for all you street fashion kings is that there are no graphic tees, there's no jabot jeans, there's no ripped jeans, there's no skinny jeans, there's nothing but classic tailoring. If you think about a Ralph Lauren commercial, Ralph Lauren does things with taste and style, things that don't have logos on them, but is more quiet luxury. Now I'm sure most of you have heard about quiet luxury where you may not know that a polo, a t-shirt, or even some trousers may cost 15 or $2,000. These are simple and elegant clothing pieces that have high quality fabrics. These high quality fabrics are gonna be silk, linen, merino wool, and cashmere. The overall arching point to dressing in the old money style is just to wear elevated clothing that has no logos on them, but you just look expensive. The thing is about old money is that you don't have to show that you have money. You got money, he got money, get it all for him. So this means you don't have to wear Gucci flip flops, you don't have to wear Balenciaga shoes or any designers like Louis Vuitton or any of that. This is simply wearing one of the most expensive brands like Laura Piana, just to show off elegance. And this is looking like you have money, but not necessarily saying it out loud. This is particularly one of my favorite ways to dress because I never really was a designer guy. I never was a guy who really liked to flaunt and show off how expensive my clothing was. For me, I've always felt like I wanted to dress like this because I just felt the most confident in. But you're probably thinking, Trey, I don't have all the money to be able to dress in the old money style. It's too expensive. That's why I'm gonna stop you right there. These are really basic items that you can get from a few different stores for an affordable price. If you guys really enjoyed this video, in each season, I'll do an old money style capsule wardrobe. There's also four essential colors that you need to keep in mind when trying to achieve the old money style, especially during the summertime. These colors are gonna be navy, cream, brown, and tan. So starting off with the first item, and this one is the most most important one when it comes to the old money style and just staying freaking cool and that is linen trousers linen is a fabric that's essential during the summertime that's going to help air circulate through your body without heat being trapped in your body you don't want to wear pants that have a lot of polyester or really heavy wool material when you see those guys looking cool at a wedding and they're not even sweating this is the type of fabric that they have on now I think there are two particular linen trousers that you need to have. The first ones are gonna be brown. Brown is a colorway that I think is really excellent and goes with a bunch of different things. Number two is gonna be my favorite and it's gonna be the most versatile pair of trousers that you can wear during the summertime. This is gonna be a linen beige trouser. And then moving on to our last bottoms is gonna be linen beige shorts. You'll find that these work best for a beach day, for a day where it's just really hot when you're going to brunch and you wanna wear shorts instead of pants. And when you pair these with the other items that are coming on the list, you're gonna see why you're gonna look better than everyone else at the event. The fourth essential that I think is really important is a belt. I think a simple brown strap belt is gonna definitely look good with all of your clothing. This darker brown strap belt you will see will go perfectly with the shoes that we're pairing later in the video. Moving on to our tops, the first one that is my favorite in the fifth item is gonna be a navy polo. You can do a simple navy classic polo, but I think it's good to pull some variation with your polos. For the navy polo, I think it's really nice to have a button through polo. Now this isn't as classic because it has a slightly nuance because of the buttons going all the way down, but I still think it's a very clean and stylish look. The sixth item on the list is gonna be a dark brown polo. And this isn't even your classic polo either. This is a buttonless polo, which is a new style to the classic polo. I think it's also a little bit more sexier because you're not necessarily showing the buttons, but you have that little straight V taper. For all you guys that enjoy wearing V-neck shirts, this is a more stylish approach if you wanna show your chest. And I'm actually wearing this brown polo as I'm talking through this video. 
video. If you guys have been following me for a while and following the channel, you know that brown is one of my favorite colors that I enjoy wearing, and it's completely versatile. But some of you may struggle when it comes to versatility in your closet. Meanwhile, this video is gonna help you with affordable outfits to be able to achieve this style. But if you're looking for more of a deep dive into mastering summer style, my summer style guide comes out on June 11th. That's what I'm talking about. Back in the spring, you guys told me how much you really loved and you enjoyed my spring style guide. And with this summer guide, we're going with a slightly different twist. With this summer style guide, I am gonna show you how to master summer style, but completely budget friendly. All of the outfits in the guide will be $100 and below. So for one full summer outfit that you're gonna get plenty of compliments on, you're only gonna be spending $100 and below. For some of these outfits, you may even spend $50 and below. What's most important for me is the comments that you guys leave me in the DMs about how it has improved your style and your confidence. I have been working in men's style for so many years. I used to work at Indochino, I used to work at Suit Supply and Men's Warehouse. And the one struggle that I get from all guys is that dressing during the summertime is so difficult. And look, to be honest, it was difficult for me when I was first getting into learning my style. But one of the key things that I learned is making sure that you have a good base. Having a good base and inspiration in your outfit is gonna help you put together a stylish one without feeling like you always have to recreate the wheel. That's why we're featuring 10 different outfits in this style guide. These outfits are gonna range from an elevated street style, a dressy casual, and some outfits for you to wear to your upcoming weddings and dates you may have. If you guys are interested in upgrading your summer wardrobe for a very inexpensive price, go ahead and hit that link in my description box so you can sign up to be notified when we drop the summer style guide. Number seven is gonna be essential on the list that I think every man needs, but specifically, I think this is really gonna work to achieve the old money style and that is a white linen shirt. Now you have a few different options when it comes to the white linen shirt. You can do a slim cut linen shirt or you can do a silk fabric shirt. As long as this shirt is tailored nicely to your body because tailoring is a really big deal when it comes to the old money style. So we're not talking oversized clothing, we're talking things that fit and hug your body the correct way. So it may take you a few times when you're trying on different clothes, exactly what size shirt fits for you. For me, a few years ago, I used to be a 15 and a half, but since your boy started working out, your boy is now a 16 and a half shirt. But because I wasn't trying on new shirts to try to really figure out my style, for a while I was wearing button down shirts that were just too tight for me. The eighth item on the list is gonna be a brown strap watch. If some of you may not know, but I am a huge watch guy. And one of the biggest things that I notice as a watch guy now is that so many guys enjoy wearing smaller dial watches. We're not in a place in style right now where guys like to wear big, gaudy, huge watches. I think to complete your outfit with accessories, it only takes very small pieces that have a very big impact on your outfit. So as you can see in the video, I talked about different colors of brown and tan. That brown strap watch is gonna go perfectly with those items. My wrists are a little bit small, so I typically like to wear anywhere between a 36 and a 38 millimeter watch. Typically depending on the diameter size and the size of the lugs, I also like going up to a 40 but you can try on different ones to see what fits for you. As long as when you're wearing this watch, it's not overpowering your arm or overpowering the outfit. The next accessory that's gonna have a huge impact on your summer style is going to be some sunglasses. Now, when it comes to sunglasses, finding the right sunglasses for your face shape is really important. I talked about finding the right clothes for your body style in my last video, if you wanna go check that out. But in this one, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I don't know what the right sunglasses is for your particular face shape. The best thing I can tell you is what I did. Go to a sunglasses hut or a Walmart and just try on different sunglasses on your face. Just take a picture and then maybe show your mom, show a close female friend that you have and let them decide for you what they think looks best on. Also favor the ones that you feel like you look best in, that you feel the most confident in. After doing that, go back and get those pair you don't have to spend a whole lot of money on, and those would be a great pair of glasses for you. I will say what the color that you need in the sunglasses are gonna be either black or brown. The types of sunglasses that I do find that look good on every man is gonna be your Wayfarers or your Club Masters. The 10th item on the list, which is one of the most popular shoes that are being worn right now, are loafers. Now, hey, I'm not gonna sit up here and say that loafers aren't an amazing item. I've seen in the comments, some of you have said that you feel like loafers are overdone but they're not overdone because this is a classic item that we have been wearing for years. I personally love loafers because they're versatile to wear with an outfit and they can easily elevate any outfit. You can wear loafers with a myriad of different pants. But for this video, I'm telling you to achieve the old money style, wear loafers with a linen trouser. Now you have two different options that you can wear with loafers. You can go with a medium brown loafer, that's a tassel loafer, or you can go with a penny loafer. 
To remain as classic as possible, I suggest going with a penny loafer, but if you feel a little bit more eclectic and you wanna stand out a little bit with your style, go with a tassel loafer. And the 11th item on the list is a navy suit. A navy suit is one of the most classic pieces of clothing that any man can have in his closet. Now this doesn't mean you're limited to just navy as a color of your suit, but if you want to get more out of your closet, I think that would be the best color to start with. And when achieving the old money style, I think a navy linen suit is gonna keep you the most breathable and cool this summer, whether you're at a wedding or another formal event. You can also get a navy suit that has a four season fabric in it with a light wool. This gives you the ability to wear this at any point in the year, doesn't matter the season at all. If you have the extra money and you'd rather just do a navy linen suit, because most of the time, some of you may live in a hotter area, do a navy linen suit, pairing that with that linen white shirt, you're gonna be breezing through any event you go to. And those are the 11 items, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video and me showing you the only 11 items that you need in order to achieve the old money summer style. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like for me and like this video because it really helps push this video in the algorithm. And make sure you guys hit that link in my description so you get notified about my summer style guide when it drops. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.